Hello whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's whiskey ramblings. Still enjoying my pool in southern France in the Provence. Enjoying a wee bit of a summer holiday away from all the troubles of the world. And I have here not one but two whiskies by Compass Box. And they are not named. Well they are named, aren't they? I mean they're they're the, the, the whiskey this one is called the no name and then a few years later they brought that the no name number two so they're not named because compass box wanted the whiskies to speak for themselves how is that for some marketing bs because they are named this one is named no name and this one is named no name two so they are named aren't they? oh it's probably semantics but anyway the packaging looks great and they look a bit mysterious and the fact that they don't have a name except no name but you know what i mean that does make them a bit intriguing. And I have to say, if the packaging is, is right and the contents is good, I'm all for it. Then I'm like, oh, when the, when the whiskey inside is crap, the packaging may look as beautiful as it wants to be. Then I'm, then I'm a bit annoyed. But when it looks good and it tastes good, ah. Right, I think this is what is going to happen here because these are two among the best releases, in my opinion, that Compass Box has done so far. These two whiskies, no name, one, no name two are actually isla driven but they are completely different for example the no name is are bag driven this is an all and for you anorexia up there i will put the composition on the screen this is actually 75.5 percent art bag 10.6 percent kalila and then 13.4 percent kleinlich all right and then they also have because those among you who can count real quick that's not that's not 100% is it no they both also have about half percent of their typical uh, uh, trademark let me put it that way highland blend that uh, compass box creates and that highland blend consists of 60% Klein Leash, 20% Diluwen and 20% Tininic basically the oak cross but there you have it right okay Isla Driven, and I can smell it already. Uh, so the no-name number one, Ardbeg Driven. The no-name number two is totally different. This is 75.5% Kalila, and then 10.5% Talisker, and then 13.5% Kleinlich, leaving again half a percent for the typical Compass Box uh, Highland Blend. There you have it. Wow, both are bottled at a slightly higher strength of 48.9% and uh, this is what I would like to try today. Put them head to head for you, but I'm sure that both will do very well because of the components inside, obviously. Right, we've got the no name number one. Let me put that at a, as, as a light golden, while the no name number two is just slightly darker than white wine. Right, let's start with these babies on the nose. Oh, this is inexorably Isla. The typical peat and salty notes of our bag. A bit medicinal, but with a sweet twist. I get some banana and smoked ham. I get some peppercorn and vanilla. This is very, very, very good. Wow. The no name number two on the nose. Totally different. Isla, for sure. But this is delicious on a slight sea breeze. I get some walnuts and a hint of mashed potatoes, I kid you not. I get some stockfish and then some sweet notes like vanilla, honey, melon, sugar candy, oyster sap even, but peat, it barely registers on the nose. This is, this is very complex and intriguing. Wow, on the palate, the no name number one. Mm. Creamy, very clean peat, very clean peat. Wow, I get some smoldering wood, some brackish water, smoked ham, salmon. My God, this is great. This is absolutely great. The no name number two then. Mm. Somewhat dry with, with uh, lots of ashes here. Mmm, sooty. I get some ship's ropes. Oh, some melon and banana as well. Black pepper, honey and vanilla, and even, even a hint of Haribo bears. Oh my God, they're totally different, but they're both very good, very good. Right, the uh, no name number one on the finish. Oh, 
long, very salty, Oof. smoky, satisfying. My God, this is good. Oh. Lingers, lingers very long. The smoke remains there, makes your mouth completely warm. Oh, this is so soothing. This is, this is campfire. This is actually a winter dram. Totally wrong season. Anyway, <laughs> the no-name number two on the finish. Here I actually get the Kalila first. Oh, it's great. The Kalila first and then the Talisker while the Kleinlish looks on, touched to tears. Oh my God, this makes me a bit lyrical. This is, they're completely different. This is a bit of a beast. Well, this is a bit of a sexy lady, but very good indeed. Well, like I said, great packaging, silly names, but great packaging and uh, beautiful whiskies. And to boot, they are affordable if you can still find them. But like I said, among the best stuff that John Glazer and his team have put together so far. This is typically Ardbeg, but with an encore, with a twist. It's, it's better than the Ardbeg 10, for sure, absolutely. It is an outstanding, outstanding Isla uh, Ardbeg driven uh, Scotch, blended Scotch, blended, no sorry, a blended malt, blended malt. And then this one, delicate delicious, sooty, with the, the Talisker element in there. It's Kalila driven for sure, which is obviously, as you know, my favorite Isla whiskey. But then the Talisker in there gives it that, that salty twist, that sea breeze, that... Oh, but the finish on this one is like, oh, it's, it's a sexy lady. Anyway, I like them both a lot for very different reasons. And that, my friends, is all for this whiskey rambling. And I hope to uh, uh, see you at one of Mark's whiskey ramblings real soon. And until then, may them all be with you.